Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be diving back into the loud here, not because they've been changed or buffed or anything in any other way than this minor one. They can now start with Thief Dagger. They can start with a lot of weapons, but Thief Dagger was not one of them until now, which, you know, it has a very obvious kind of synergy to it. Thief Dagger gets 30% chance to gain a material if you kill an enemy with a crit. If you have a lot of enemies, like the Loud does, that's theoretically a lot of money. It's almost the exact same effect as Hunting Trophy is at its base level, at level 1. But as it combines, it gets more crit chance, and it also has a percent higher to get materials. I think it up, goes up to like 50 or something. Danger 5, though, it's the uh, it's a good benchmark place, you know. Comparing it against the uh, the bosses, the double bosses, is a good way to see exactly how strong a run truly is. So that is what we're doing here today. So we're going to obviously need a lot of crits. We're going to want more thief daggers. We're going to want a lot of attack speed to deal with this. It's going to be a bit tricky. We'll take some attack speed for now, sure. Thief Dagger. We'll just kind of want to tunnel this. Ye hmm. Yes. <laughs> I wanted it. I, the question was, like, I I want it. Do I want to take it this exact second, or do I want to wait a moment? Because uh, getting more weapon. Oh, God, they're so slow. Why are they so slow? 0.85, excuse me. 0.85 with the, uh, the coffee is a little crazy. They also have Precise, so we can get an extra 12% crit chance just by having six of them. But yeah, this is going to be a bit tricky. This is going to be a wee bit tricky, I do imagine. Just got the trees. I'll take the attack speed for now. Crit chance, absolutely. Thief Dagger. Uh, it's wave three, so I want to try and force... I, thought I, was I was getting so lucky. Hey, it's still pretty darn lucky. There's our six thief daggers already. Because the fun thing about these, they are last hit things that want last hits. But um, unlike going for ethereal, where you kind of don't want them to fight for last hits, it is completely irrelevant in the world of thief daggers which one of them gets the last hit. Because the money is money is money, you know? Uh, we don't need to worry about 20 stacks until we get it. It's just a boolean. Did you kill it with a thief dagger crit or not? Um, so, hey, got a little bit of that going for us already. Eight harvesting to just kind of counteract that is not necessarily a dumb idea. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Stop it. Okay. Uh, crit chance of 38. Stuff's not bad. Let's get some flat damage. It's uh, Yeah, it scales at 50%, which is... Not great. Goes up to 36. Okay. Okay. So probably go up to 42. So yeah. I, th I think it goes up to 50. I think it does. Sure, a little bit of range down is not great, but we do know, of course, that that could also give us a technical attack speed upgrade, which could be very, very beneficial. We're going to need a lot of damage to make up for the fact that we have a 0.5 multiplier on our damage output, uh, our melee damage output. Boop, 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 boop. I'll tell you what, I don't know. I believe that this could work. I believe this could work. I think that uh, there's a lot of enemies in this patch already, but, you know, we get a little bit of this extra money to take advantage of the fact that there's a lot of enemies and bada bing, bada boom, you got a little bit of action. I'll take a 9% speed up for sure. I I have a lot. I have like a lot of money. Hold on. Materials gain zero, really? But yeah, I got, I got a hell of a lot. Holy crap. Okay. Well, when you're finding thief daggers that quickly, we got a little bit of, you know, I got a little bit more excitement for the potential of this run. I think that... Maybe there's an there's a real chance if you find them that quickly. It helps that they are um, thief dagger is a very cheap weapon. It's a very very helpful part of going for that build. It uh, it helps justify its cost or uh, its its purpose 
a little bit more when it's a bit cheaper. Makes it not feel so bad. Uh, historically, I've found this weapon to be trash, historically. But I just do think that this character could make it good, could make it work with the right setup. Um, I need the crit chance. I need the crit chance. Give me a little bit of that. Another thief stagger. Don't mind it. Another one. Another one. Another one. No, okay. Another one. Actually, though? Padding is interesting. I found two of them now, but I'm just, I'm not going to have that much money. Another one. No. So this goes up to 48, or wait, what? 42. And it goes up by six per, and then I think that just for like quality of, uh, quality of life, it just goes up to a clean 50 just because it looks better. Looks better, easier to, uh, to parse, to process. So this does stack with Hunting Trophy. That's obviously the dream. It's the desire. I feel like we see it at least... We usually see a Hunting Trophy once a day, it feels like, on runs that get as much money as this one theoretically will. It usually pops up at some point. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The nice thing about having um, the juicy crits on this weapon... Oh, boy. Oh my god, I can't get all that money on the ground. The nice thing about having the juicy crits is it makes it so the 0.5 scaling is not as bad. It's not nearly as bad when we have the crit built in. I'll take 15 luck. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, I actually think that we can take two crit down for nine up there is really, really nice. Nine up. Nine up? What? Uh, three up. <laughs> I don't know why I said nine up. Whoop. That was that was very exciting. Okay, I'm like, I am over the moon excited for what um, ooh, wave nine looks like. We're going to be rich from wave nine if we can make it there and live. But that is a big if. That is a really big if. Oh my god, that is an early hunting trophy. That is a very early hunting trophy. It's a big if. It's so it's it's exciting to get uh, such a good item so fast, but it also is like, well, it sucks that this run is probably in the pooper, isn't it? Like, this is not the best weapon in the world. We gotta, I don't know. Maybe with that getting that scaling that early, we'll be fine. Yeah, like I have a I have 450 bucks already. I'm gonna do it. Seven percent crit chance is totally worth. Yes, yes. Probably should, but I'm not going to. I could. Claw tree's nice. Keep giving me those. I'm going to take insanity. I know it seems counterintuitive with uh, the way I was viewing the other thing. I'm down with that. Another one. 78% crit chance. Very nice. How much money do we get? 73, 75... 75. Yeah, it's all about about right there. But the thing is, they definitely seem like they can indeed stack. We're starting to do a little bit of a little bit of damage. Not so bad. My survivability is god-awful trash. But yeah, the, the damage output is woo, entirely entirely, entirely fine. I thought that I was dead there for sure. That was so spooky. Okay. The tree. Run. Okay, we're we're on our run. We're on the run. Living would be is is much more important. Wave nine is gonna be where the true cash is at. Anyways, so like 459, like I could have done better. Damage up, range down. I'm going to say no for now. Dodge down. Sure. 12% uh, damage up. Sounds great. Another thief dagger. Don't mind dip by dope. Mini. Mini gun. Well, like this. Sure. Uh, Thief dagger. Good. All Ooh, all the way better. I think that we can, like, I think we're at a point where we're getting such high crit. 
60. It jumps to 60. I forgot about that. Okay, here we go. This is this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. This is going to be huge money. If we don't die, this is huge money. This is where we should have gotten padding. I mean, we probably should have anyways. Because, like, the thing is, padding helps you in combat. I typically don't love it, but, like, on weird runs like this, I, I really probably should have taken it. Yep, yep, we're going to be so freaking rich after this wave. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please live. The thing is, we probably should live. I don't think that we'll have too much issues with that. Oh my god, we risked it so much there. Okay, run through the middle for a sec. Risking a lot run when we're running in the middle like that. It's just so much money on the line, you know, you know? Risk it all. Let's go. A thousand bucks. I Hey, nothing short of spectacular. I kind of figured it'd be that good, but like, dang. I'll take the three armor. I'll take the four melee. 15 attack speed. Torture. Newly buffed torture. Sure. Okay. Uh, HP regen can be tanked now. Power gen, good. Hedgehog has no downside now. I'll take that. What the hell? This puts us over the limit that we needed to be at. Claw tree, for, at least for that one. Oh my god, that was incredible. Ugh, love it. And then we have a horde wave for 12? Excuse me? Like, we're making hunting trophy look like old hunting trophy right now. But it's not <laughs> It's not really because of hunting trophy, is it? It's like, we kind of have a bunch of weapons that have the hunting trophy effect better. Like, it's obviously good, don't get me wrong. I've, I think trophy's great. When we get our second one... Then we'll talk about it being the carry. It's just very nice that we have it. This is where I'm at right now. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. We don't need to get that stuff. Four health per second. We want dodge. We want armor then. We heal four health per second exactly and nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. We will always be healing that amount. We want armor, we want dodge. That's a lot of money. There's a lot of money on the ground, too, but, like, I don't know what to tell you. I couldn't really get to it. Uh, blindfold's nice, because I do want to try and go towards dodge. Ooh! Community support. Community support, community support, community support, community support. Uh, alloy is so good, though. But I'm, like, really overflowing my crit. And tanking my dodge. Fine. Fine. We're going for it. I don't want alien baby. Alright. No armor or anything there. But yeah, uh, community support plus loud is just so obviously strong. I think we may possibly have scaled into oblivion. We may possibly have scaled into Oblivion. And I'm really excited to test out the new, um, new, new torture. I think it's, it's probably in a pretty good spot now. Because it, it felt close to being in a good spot before. Like, the thing is, if it's a one item thing where it's like, you take this and you never have to, like, you don't have to get HP regen, you don't have to get lifesteal. It can't be incredible. Like, I mean, eh, it can be. But, like, there's a certain, I don't know, invalidity to an entire stat is is a very strong, important um, thing to go for if it shows up. I do love that I don't have to worry about HP pickups. It's pretty nice. It's a little bit sketchy, though. I do need, um... <gasps> 
I mean, I do have 55 luck, I guess. Random weapon is upgraded when entering the shop. If you have no weapon to upgrade, get two armor instead. This is so good. Such a nice way to find that. Uh, um, I guess I'll take the triple armor. Let's take flat melee. Coupon. Range down's fine. Gives us kind of an attack speed upgrade. Armor. Eh. Ugly Tooth will be nice. I'll take Missile. We get a lot of attack speed already. We can totally up some damage. Uh, Crown. <laughs> and well. Don't need more crit chance. I'll take as many Leather Vests as I can find, to be honest. No. Maybe with a beard. Well... Oh no, I have negative 35 harvesting. Okay, so this is going to be very exciting. Okay, I kind of want to just like hold off for a second, check community support. Already have 28% attack speed up. Okay. 47. Yeah, 47 attack speed from one item. Super nice. It obviously synergizes so well with the loud, though. Like, you have to keep that in mind. Like, we're getting extremely... An extremely high amount of enemies. But, like... Dude, community support. It's... You know, everybody over here talking about this thing nerf, that thing nerf. Dude, we got community support. Let's just... Just, like, just keep it to ourselves. Say... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep talking about all that other stuff. Don't worry about it. As long as you're not talking about community support. First rule of community support. Don't talk about it. Says the guy who's been singing its praises every two seconds. It's just so good. It's so good. Not to mention on the lot. Yeah, we've uh, we've outscaled anything being a problem. I could take that, but I just don't care. 12% dodges. Huge. Oh, there's the... Uh, we got the level up there. Uh... Why did we get we got Noma second time, man? This like we just keep. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, I'm rich, so obviously we're gonna find everything we want. But jeez, dude. Oops, that's a useless item. I forgot. Okay. Oh, the range. That, that's a lot of range down. That's probably too much range down. Every every time I'm going to find this now, it's going to be at, when it's at its absolute lowest. I don't care about the life steal of this, but 20% dodge is so good. Cape into Retromation's hoodie. This, the luck is actually disgusting. But, like, this super, super low range is going to make it so our attack speed is, is fundamentally out of whack. Uh, 0.19 on, uh, on Thief's Dagger is so, so good. So, so low. I do want a little bit more range, because I just don't, I don't like to be this close to the enemies. I don't like to be this close to their, their business. But, I wouldn't, I would be lying if I was saying that having this low of, uh, of range didn't increase my DPS through the roof. My technical on-paper exclusive DPS is through the roof right now. Oh my god. Money truly is the strongest thing in the game, because it's everything. That's the thing. We've outscaled anything being a problem. Armor's great for us. Damage percentage is great for us. Um, we're at 114. We can go down a little bit. Forty-seven is not that high. I can't say no. That's just so free. But I am confused. Rip and tear. I don't know if we want to actually. If we take rip and tear, we lose some value. I'll take piggy bank. I'll just take piggy bank and just tap out there.
Rerolls are starting to get kind of expansive. Got to keep in mind that I do want to find range. Single target DPS, fantastic when you have negative range. Technical DPS may be a little bit lower, though, you know, because you have to factor in the range isn't high. You're not hitting as many enemies per, per hit, which... You know, when my main goal is just to kill as many individual enemies as possible for maximum profit. Ooh, we could have we could have a problem here. We could have a problem here. We have a very, very flat limit on how much damage we're allowed to take. Like, uh-oh. That's going to be a disaster. Okay, we got five seconds left. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Get all the money we can. Go, 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 go. Got less than I thought, considering I had, um... Absolutely. I could take this just for the range. I guess I could take Gummy Berserker. Don't need more crits. Sure. I do want my dodge. Yeah, I just... It's a good item. Don't get me wrong, it's a great item. Wandering Bot is incredible for us. Wheat is great. I'll take Banner. I'm actually, like, really happy with Banner. Right. I love being rich. I love being so rich I can just keep re-rolling and get three copies of what is probably the current strongest item in the game. The hoodie's still great. Don't get me wrong. Huh. Kill. There we go. That was really risky. Yeah, I, I gotta be real. Torture, I, we shouldn't have taken it on this run. I think upon seeing it in action right now, I think that there's totally runs to take it on. I just don't think it's broken ones. Like, when I'm this rich, I can just buy more stats to, like, you know, I can just keep on going and keep on going, get more uh, HP regen, everything like that, so it'd be basically invincible. And with this, I have a very big, finite uh, ticker on my, my HP regen. I think it maybe beats any HP regen that I could find, but I don't think it beats any HP regen plus any lifesteal plus any HP drops that I could find. So ultimately, I do think it maybe made us weaker. What is going on? Oh, I killed an elite. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, this one makes this one makes sense. I killed an elite. That checks out. That checks out. Flat damage is great. Uh, dodge is great. I like that's just gonna make. Uh, yeah, we've already got that gonna make it take longer to kill the final boss mostly kind of rolling for more um did i take piggy bank i did 344 materials gain it's it's way more than i paid for it can't be mad at that yeah this is i don't know I'm actually, in hindsight, I'm very... Despite the fact that I think it made the run... It's going to make the run worse. I'm happy we took Torture. Because it keeps stakes on this run, man. It keeps stakes. It really does. Yeah, putting... Uh, allowing Loud to start with Thief Dagger. Thank you. I don't know why. I, I haven't done that run yet. Like, I've... I've never thought of doing that run quite yet. I don't know, by the way. 39. Does it not stack? Does it give me 39 three times? It probably gives me 39 three times. Commun uh, community support can be a unique. Let me make that clear. Like, I, and again, this is one of those situations. I could take wisdom. I'm not going to. This is one of those situations. I'm. If it gets nerfed, it's not nerfed because of me or anything like that. Like, Flopfish knows what's what. You know? Like, it's no surprise that it's that it's strong. I do want some range. 
Um, what do I do? Do I just like stop? No. Also, like no for so many reasons. What do I even want anymore? Bye. Another free legendary. Love to see it. Love to see it. The buffed up mummies actually take two of our hits to die, I think. That's broken. That needs to be nerfed. I can't believe they take two whole hits to die. I think that te the tentacles might too. I will say that the tentacles do have slightly more HP than I would have anticipated. I feel like they are... They are weirdly high hell. I'm so happy with the, um, the change to the hosts, though, and the host babies. Super happy with that. Man, this is, this is free. You do not need to be modded to break this game. You do not need any modding. You just need a pretty good run. Pretty darn good run. Well, the thing is, you can... With the... I mean, I have a lot of luck, but why? Like, I, don't, I also don't even... The funny thing, I don't even want it. I met my... I met Dodge Cap. I just don't care. We have all of our free rerolls. We might as well take them. Uh, Broken Mouth is just free. Great. Could we do a standstill kill? I mean, because of our extremely low range, extremely high attack speed, I think we might be able to. I think we can. It's terrifying. But the way they all keep taking turns like Batman goons is sure making that easier. If they all just jumped in at the same exact time, like, I would have taken a hit for sure. Can I see a fourth community support, please? I see a fourth community support. We just have so much, so much money, so many rerolls. We get to see so many really, really good items. I think that's the thing. Is I'm looking at the amount of legendaries that are showing up, and I'm like, this seem. I have high luck, but it seems kind of high regardless. Like it seems high anyways. But I really do have to factor that in. Um, this is good because we are above. I love that new change too, by the way. That shows exactly what crit chance you're at with it. So many free rolls, so many free rolls. Yep. I'll take those until I die, basically. I don't know how much I want 30 range at this point. But yeah, not spending money gives us more health right now. If we would have taken all three paddings, it's not unique, is it? If we would have taken all three paddings, we'd have 100 health just from padding. Which... I know this is going to sound crazy. Which I think is kind of less than I thought it would be. From having three paddings? I guess I know it... It got kind of nerfed, kind of buffed in the last patch. It got, um... Basically, it scales less... Slightly less well, but it gives you a free 3 HP. So, like, it's worth taking sometimes on um, on runs where you don't have a lot of money. If you just need that 3 HP really bad or something. Alright. I gotta be real, though. We're spending all of our money. Uh, I'll take that for the 3 HP. We're going to spend it all. Bam. Oops, didn't mean to do a double, but that's fine. We can take a dodge down at this point. 
Uh, exoskeleton's fantastic for us. Luck is now... It's pretty... So stupid. It. I wish we would have gotten that in a li little bit. Very cool. We've only. Wait. I mean, 2,300. Yeah, this is going to sound crazy. Only 2,300 is a lot. It's a lot. But we have so many extra enemies. How many extra enemies do we have? Oh, I guess only 65. No, that's it's it's good. Don't get me wrong. There's no point to take it though, is the thing. On the final boss, there's literally just no point to take it. Another wandering bot's great. Uh relevant. I guess now that that doesn't matter, we can go for it. Don't need crit. Big arms, sure. Taking it. Vigilante ring is useless. I can't take I cannot benefit from HP regen. Exoskeleton again. Yeah, let's just buy range down for, for kicks and wiggles. Alright. 358 with a two times crit multiplier. These should die immediately. You get back there. You get back here, dirty boy. Alright. Anyways, that's that. That's going to do it for today for Brotato. That was an exceptionally lucky run mixed with an exceptionally strong foundation for a run anyways. That was just, like, four community supports on the loud. It's just dumb. <laughs> Obviously, we got one of them. Like, I'd say we got two, maybe even three of them past the point of it being relevant. We only really needed one community support to get to the point where we never would have to really worry again. And then we got all this extra stuff. I mean, 71 luck is a lot. I am still surprised at how much, uh, how many legendaries we got. But I think it is just 71 luck mixed with truly, um, with seven by the end of the game, dangerous bunnies mixed with thousands and thousands of coins. You're obviously going to see a lot of legendaries, but it's still, it was still very impressively high. But alas, alas, that's that. It's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel, Rogue Lakes, more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.